and you are one of the travelers chosen. You are a guardian. Destiny 2 is out, and we know that for many of you, this is your first destiny. The first decision you face is what guardian class you should select. Don't be intimidated. These positions are modeled after familiar RPG roles, specifically the mage, rogue, and tank. Tweak to suit the fast and frenetic pace and unique progression path of Destiny 2. Each class also has a brutal superpower, and its cooldown can be shortened depending on your advanced abilities and equipped gear. This video primer goes over the first two of the three subclasses of each class, so you'll know how to best tune and specialize your Guardian during the first dozen hours of play. If this video helped clear things up, be sure to give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once you're all situated with your class, be sure to swing back to GameSpot for all your other Destiny 2 guides and tips needs. Let's get started. The Titan is the go-to if you want to feel like a Space Marine a powerhouse that can turn the tide of battle on its sheer strength. In skilled hands, it can stand its ground in a firefight, partly due to its two class ability barriers. Its vertical ability, Lift, modifies mobility with increased height, control, and your initial momentum burst. Titans are versatile tanks, and unlocking multiple subclasses will allow you to further emphasize offense or defense. You start off with a defense-centric sentinel, the new Void Element Titan subclass that replaces the previous game's Defender. Its passive abilities reward melee actions with defensive benefits, shields and health restoration to be exact. If you're having that Captain America itch, one of the Code of the Aggressor passive abilities grants you an extra shield throw, complementing the Sentinel Shield Super. Its melee prowess makes it primed and ready for the front line, supported by its various barriers. If you feel your fire team lacks defensive support to balance out its offense, this subclass is for you. The Arc Elemental Titan Striker, meanwhile, makes a return, but not without some notable modifications. The Fist of Havoc Super has been pluralized to Fists of Havoc. You can now pull off multiple minion clearing ground pounds, as well as a shoulder charge. If you want a Titan that doubles down on the class's offensive strengths, pick the Striker. Just look at the two passive ability sets you get to choose from. Code of the Juggernaut encourages melee combat, resulting in health and weapon bonuses. Code of the Earthshaker gives you more opportunities to ground pound and shoulder charge, with the side benefit of auto-recharging your grenades. If you're used to playing the Rogue, try your hand at the Hunter, the Guardian known for its agility, craftiness, and stealth. All classes feature some form of mobility, but the Hunters take it up a notch using exclusive dodge skills, with bonuses in weapon reloading or melee energy. It also upgrades its double jump with a triple jump, high jump, and strafe jump. If you like feeding off your situational awareness in large spaces, the Hunter's prowess in ranged combat and ability to get out of dicey situations will suit your needs. If you like complementing this nimble class with the melee expertise of a samurai, you'll be pleased with the Hunter's starter subclass, Arc Strider, which replaces the Blade Dancer from the first game. Its super, the Arc Staff, is an energy staff you wield acrobatically against your foes. The two passive ability paths capitalizes on the fleet-footedness of the subclass. Following the Way of the Wind offers benefits in increased sprinting, shortened dodge cooldowns, and reduced damage when using the Arc Staff. Way of the Warrior is suited for the more assertive type, granting dodge recharges and attack damage boosts as you amass kills. If you're looking for a hunter in the style of a cowboy and favor the class's range expertise, then walk the path of the Hunter Gunslinger. Its super isn't called the Golden Gun for nothing. This fiery pistol uses solar light to obliterate targets. Many of its passive abilities are tied to this super. The way of the sharpshooter enhances your golden gun if you're proficient in precision kills. The way of the outlaw offers slightly more variety from increased reload speed to an exploding knife. Warlocks are Destiny 2's space mages. Compared to the other classes, the Warlock's mobility leans towards horizontal movement, making it tough to target. Its team healing benefits are only overshadowed by its potent attack spells. 
As the support class of Destiny 2, this Guardian is best in the hands of those who are actively aware of where your fire team is at all times. This is to take advantage of the Warlock's main class abilities, Healing Rift, which is a close proximity healer, and Empowering Rift, which increases damage. The Warlock Dawnblade replaces the previous game's Sunsinger, and this starting subclass is best suited for those who look to take full advantage of the Warlock's mobility. Its super, Daybreak, strikes from the sky, turning solar light into lethal blades. The Dawnblade's wings aren't just for show. By choosing the attunement of the Sky Passive abilities, you can recharge energy with airborne kills. Wing Sun and Icarus Dash lets you attack and dodge mid-air, while Swift Strike is a flaming melee attack that briefly boosts your movement and reload speed. If you want to get the most out of Daybreak, choose Attunement of the Flame. It has a set of passives that enhance the super, especially if you're the bloodthirsty type. The Warlock Voidwalker makes a return with the Nova Bomb Super in tow. This demands high accuracy to get the most bang for your buck. Both passive ability routes for the Voidwalker excel in variety. Attunement of Chaos passives benefits your grenades and modifies your Nova Bomb as an enemy seeker. Take Attunement of Hunger if you want to feel like a vampire. With its Devour ability, you can regenerate your health with melee kills. You can follow that up with Insatiable, where more melee kills increases the duration of Devour while also recharging your grenades. Low on health? Use Feed the Void to transfer grenade energy into health regeneration. As you progress through the planets of Destiny 2, random drop artifacts will grant you access to the second and third subclasses of each Guardian type. And if one specialty isn't working out for you, changing between your unlocked subclasses is as easy as going into the menu. You can even do this mid-battle. Happy hunting, Hunter! Or Warlock? Or Titan? 